Well, amid these warnings of further global economic slowdowns and uncertainties, how is Indonesia's economy faring? To get better insight, I'm joined by the executive director of Core Indonesia Think Tank, Pak Muhammad Faisal. Pak Faisal, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's so nice to see you in the studio as well after speaking to you for the better yep. half of last year. Now, okay, let's get straight into it. President Widodo's statement just now, he's warning mm -hmm. that exports in Indonesia next year yeah. uh, could see a fall amid yeah. sort of global slowdowns. Yeah. Do you agree with that sentiment? Yeah. To some extent, I think it, it is true that mm -hmm. there are some problems with the, um, the global economy, the U.S. and China and also in the European Union, and there is also a potential problem that it will persist next year. Uh, so um, there is an economic slowdown, and that's quite wor worrying. But for Indonesia, I think, I think there is a little bit different because we still have the so-called um, domestic uh, market and domestic economy, which is huge, and and. This is a blessing in disguise because yeah. we are less we are less integrated into the global economy. Mm -hmm. It means that when the the global economy you know has some problems, I mean the transmission to the domestic economy is quite minimal compared right. to peer countries like Malaysia or Thailand or Vietnam, not to mention Singapore. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we look at, if you look at the domestic consumption, it's quite strong, especially if you look uh, if uh, recently in the third quarter. It has reached the level um, even higher than the pre-pandemic era. Mm. So um, I think as long as there is not uh, any issues with the mobility restrictions like what happened or occurred during the pandemic, I think there'll be, I mean, next year, I think maybe a little bit slowed down, but not that uh, worrying. Not yes. that significant. Not that because, significant. Because uh, we have enjoyed uh, 30 months of trade surpluses. Yes. Uh, but of, of course, as you alluded to earlier, um, yep. commodity prices, some of them Right. are going down amid right. slowing demand yes. and so forth. And of mm -hmm. course, the nickel export ban issue with the WTO. Sure. Is all of this still not concerning for Indonesia's trade and will we still see surplus yeah. next year? If we look at the recent dynamic in the global economy, I think they, that's true that to some extent that the uh, commodity prices will decline uh, for next year. But if we compare with the pre-pandemic or during the pandemic, uh, early pandemic era, I think it's, it is still it will still be relatively higher, and especially the the energy commodities. So we can we can separate between non-energy and, and energy commodities. For energy commodities, I think it will, it will still significantly higher than the pre-pandemic era, especially coal. Coal is still very high right now. So um, yes, there will be a slowdown in terms of the exports, but we will we'll still enjoy a trade surplus for next year, even though the the surplus may be narrowing. Uh, compared to this year. Right, you're still yeah. forecasting more surpluses. Yes. There's been many, yeah. many months yes. of surpluses yeah. in Indonesia. Yes. I want to move on another issue. You alluded to uh, consumer demand here. Of course, m m most of that is affected, of course, by inflation as well. That's right. Now, yeah. we have seen inflation, both annual and core inflation, easing further in November. Volatile food inflation also yes. dropped. Uh, how how was your assessment of this? Was this a positive result mm -hmm. overall? And what factors do you contribute to the easing of inflation in Indonesia? Well, well this is the interesting thing with the recent uh, release from the BPS in terms of the um, inflation, that 0.09% in November can be positive and negative in a way that it is positive, it, it, which means that, uh, that the some measures taken by, for example, the Bank Indonesia, you know, to, re, to raise the interest rates, it will take effect to tame the inflation. Yeah, so, so that's that's positive, but it may be also uh, a bit um, a bit of concern because 0.09 percent uh, in November is significantly lower compared to the inflation the same month November last year and also the pre-pandemic era. For example, in 2021, uh, the inflation in November is 0.37 percent, if I'm not mistaken. So that means that there may be some, some concerns about the demand in November. But facing December, I think there will be another demand push because of the, you know, the, the holiday, end of year holiday. So there will be another increase you know, in, 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 terms, in, in terms of inflation mm -hmm. driven by demand. Right, so are you seeing inflation increase towards the end of the year because of this higher demand? Yes, uh, our prediction is about 5.5% for this year until December. Right, of course, but Bank Indonesia, um, they, they have said just very recently that yeah. they're seeing inflation uh, possibly going down to its target of 2 to 0.4% uh, next year. Next do, year. Do you agree with that? Do you see inflation kind of cooling down 
as the months come in Indonesia? Yeah, more or less the same, but uh, we're, uh, I think more pre precisely the inflation for next year, mm. uh, based on our outlook, is about about three percent. Three percent. Yeah. yeah. So okay. a bit lower than this year, five point five percent, but still going back to the pre-pandemic era. And much better than many advanced countries. Um, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, compared to America, I think uh, will be significantly higher than three percent for next year. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also want to talk to you about the sanctions on Russian oil, which will come to effect yes. next uh, Monday. Yep. Mm -hmm. How will that affect uh, inflation in Indonesia, especially as that could push up oil prices? Yeah. Uh, the sanctions is actually not to ban completely the mm. Russian oil, but to, to, you know, to, to put some cap to the price. Right. And even, even there is a cap. Uh, so the price is still, you know, there, there's some argument between uh, uh, the countries, especially, especially the countries in the European Union. And so I think the, the effect on the inflations will be not as worrying as expected, as not to mention, for right. example, some countries like India, for example, will keep buying, you know, oil from Russia. So the effect on the uh, global inflation, especially for energy inflation and fuel, I think it's not that uh, that uh, worrying. I think so. The the pre there there will be some pressure yeah. on uh, on inflation in in Indonesia, but not as high as the the previous uh, the previous, especially the recent the recent months this year. Okay, uh, I want to move on to another uh, aspect of Indonesia's economy, which is the manufacturing PMI. It was still expansive, but slowed down yeah. from the previous month. Um, how do you see this? Is, is is this a worrying sign that slow down or because it's expensive, it's still okay? Well, yeah, to be honest, I think uh, recently there are um, some pressures, uh, increasing mm. pressures on the manufacturing, right. the producers, producer size because of the inflation, not to mention in, inflated uh, inflations, because um, the raw materials, uh, the price of raw materials is increasing, right. and uh, not to mention because of also the uh, rupiah depreciations recently, and logistics costs also increasing, and also um, energy. Uh, electricity, for example, so that will have an impact on the the, the performance of the um, manufacturing industry. Mm. Still expansive, it's expanding, but but you know the, the levels you know uh, bit, a bit declining. Yeah. But because of the, uh, the the domestic demand is quite huge and mm. it's still prospective, right. it is still in the zone of expansion in, in, uh, instead of contraction. Right. Uh, so that's why I think until December with the with the following uh, demand push towards the end of the year, I think it will uh, increase again, uh, the purchasing managers index in December. All right, so still yep. optimistic yep. on the manufacturing mm -hmm. yes. sector as well. You were mm -hmm. speaking about the rupiah earlier. Yep. We're gonna talk more about that. It's strengthened a bit today. So we're gonna take a very short break, but we'll continue our discussion with Pat Muhammad Faisal, Executive Director of Core Indonesia, after this very short break.